This next video in our Scheduling for Success series will explore the two different Louisiana diploma tracks, as well as the types of courses that are offered to students at Shelman High School. Louisiana high school students have two diploma track options, the TOPS University Diploma or the TOPS Tech Jumpstart Diploma. Students planning to attend a four-year university, such as LSU, Southeastern, UNO, must graduate with a TOPS University Diploma. The Jumpstart Diploma is for students who will enroll in a community college or enter the workforce after graduating high school. As you can see on the chart, the course requirements are different for each diploma track. Students are required to take four units of English and math for each diploma, but the actual courses taken are different. TOPS University students must take Englishes one, two, three, and four, while the typical English courses for Jumpstart students are English one, technical writing, English two, and business English. TOPS University students must take Algebra one, Geometry, Algebra two, and a high level math, whereas Jumpstart students typically take Algebra one, Math Essentials, Financial Literacy, and Business Math. You'll also see that while students need help in PE courses for each diploma track, TOPS University students must also take four units of both Science and Social Studies, and Art, two foreign languages, and three electives. Jumpstart students need only two sciences and social studies, and the extra nine courses come from courses in their chosen pathway as a way for students to graduate with courses that will jumpstart their future career. On the scheduling documents, you will see four types of courses, AP, DE, and asterisk, and GT. The AP stands for Advanced Placement. These are rigorous college-level courses taken in high school with a chance to earn college credit based on a score on a national exam. These are the only courses at CHS that carry an extra quality point towards students' GPAs. The DE stands for Dual Enrollment. Students enrolled in these courses receive both high school and college credit through Nunes Community College at the exact same time. Courses with an asterisk or high level courses meant to challenge students in a particular subject area. And the GT stands for gifted. Students with a gifted IEP are serviced through these courses. So why should students take courses for college credit while you're still in high school? Well, if your goal after high school is to attend a four-year university, it's important for you to learn what will be expected of you and develop those skills now. Studies show that students who complete college coursework are more likely to graduate college within four to five years, saving you both time and money in the long run. In addition, our AP and dual enrollment courses are paid for by CHS, allowing you to earn college credit now for free. Many of our college level courses are taken on campus here at CHS by one of our high school teachers. There are seven AP courses in a variety of course subject areas. Typically students take one to two AP courses each year, beginning with human geography AP their freshman year. One reason to consider taking AP courses is that it does give you that extra quality point towards your GPA. So earning a B in an AP course is the same as earning an A in any other course. Also, out-of-state colleges recognize AP scores and issue college credit for scores of three or better. As you can see, dual enrollment courses are also offered on our Shelmet High School campus in each of the four core subject areas. In addition, we are able to offer foreign language, art, medical, and culinary opportunities to our students. Dual enrollment courses have certain academic requirements in order to enroll. Students must have a 2.5 GPA and show academic excellence through either their transcript, LEAP exams, or the AC test, ACT test for entrance. You can also see on this chart that we have four courses for our gifted students, physical science, biology, 
pre-calculus, and fine arts survey. Students interested in taking dual enrollment courses on Nunes Community College's campus may do so in the courses and programs on this page. Students must also meet certain requirements for these programs. As you can see, there are quite a few course offerings in the technical areas that allow students to receive hands-on instruction as they work towards an industry-based credential. In addition, some of our students will graduate with an associate's degree the same month they graduate with their high school diploma by completing one of these associate degree programs while in high school. These degree programs require up to 20 college level courses, which are to begin either student sophomore or junior year. So if you're interested in these programs, it's very important that you talk to your counselor as soon as possible. It's also important that on the Google form that you'll soon hear about, that you indicate that you're interested in one of these programs and Ms. LaBeouf, our CTE coordinator and dual enrollment coordinator, will get with you to determine whether or not you're eligible. In the past, we've heard from students that they didn't know that they could enroll in welding because they were a female, or maybe they didn't know that they could take a nursing class because they were male. We want all students to take courses that fit their interest. Break the stereotype. If you're interested in a certain program, then go for it. Nunes Community College does have certain requirements that Shelmet High School must honor. For instance, students, again, must have a 2.5 GPA for most of the dual enrollment courses that they enroll. Each of the programs require certain test scores, certain GPAs, Nunez also wants to know about your attendance history, your discipline record, and whether or not you've taken dual enrollment courses in the past and been successful. At Shelmet High School, in order for you to take these dual enrollment courses, we need to make sure that they fit in your schedule so that you meet all of your graduation requirements in time for graduation. And again, your GPA is important not just for dual enrollment eligibility, but also if you wanna play sports in high school, the LHSAA has certain athletic eligibility requirements. If you're interested in playing sports in college, the NCAA program has certain requirements to meet for eligibility. There's also tons of scholarships out there with GPA requirements. Your high school GPA determines whether or not you graduate with honors, or whether or not you graduate on stage as one of our top five graduates. So it's important that you are doing your absolute best in all of your classes and maintaining the best GPA possible. In the next video, we will dive more deeply into each of the diploma tracks and course progressions so that you have all of the information you need to schedule for success.